How to Beat Mega Man Unlimited, a play to win video by Snupster.com. After a successful endeavor that was Mega Man 9, Mega Man Unlimited was created. Codenamed Mega Man 10, it follows the same formula. Beat the eight robot killers and find out who is behind the notorious Frickle Frackle. Mega Man 10 Limited was produced by Megaphil X for the home computer systems instead of the Nintendo Entertainment Boy. This was because Capcom ran out of business trying to develop Mighty No. 9. As we know, maddened by all of this, Keiji Inafune went and released a Mighty No. 2. Now, in better hands in France, the new game came out so tight it united everyone all over the world to enjoy Mega Man one last time. Even though this game is quite easy, here are some of our tips to help you beat the game like Chris Brown beat CUT! Grease those fingers, cover that sofa, and turn on that monitor. It's time to frag some rock bots. Looks like Mega Man has a case of Roboenza. We better get out of here quick and find out who candy van Dr. Wily before our arm falls off. Make sure you are running version 1.3.2, because in versions prior to that, the version numbers were lower. Locate the enter button on your keyboard to skip this pointless screen of Mega Man's smoking bang stick. You can also hook up your Mad Cat's controller and press start, if that button still works on it. Do note that this board game comes with additional game modes that you can play, such as the Endless Mode. Be careful though, the levels in this mode were made by some Muppets we've never heard of, so they probably bite the hairy banana. After selecting New Game, you are presented with a difficulty option. We are going with original today, as these tips best apply to this mode. Don't pick easy, even if you think the game is too unforgiving. Picking original and complaining on the internet is far easier. Insta-death isn't recommended, because it means you'll die instantly when the level starts. It is considered to be a bit of a handful. For the buster setting, ignore the charged option so we don't overload the central processing unit. We should start with Nitro Man. Hit the inner key on your Thrustmaster joystick now. The abbreviation NG was left on this board by accident. NG means no good, and its original planned location was in the Rainbow Man's board. Go up the twigs carefully as a pippy with a huge rack comes flying towards you. Shoot her before she explodes all over you. Jump on these juice boxes, but keep going as they will also combust. Don't stop for a second, or you will be buttfucked back down to the world below. There are more flying Chiopteras coming, so keep moving as fast as you can. Press the joystick harder to go faster. The nuts on the right side are just a trap. Just keep going. On this screen, align yourself here. You will dodge the bad enemy design easily. Another nut on the left. We don't need it as this game is quite easy even without them. The nuts are used as currency and they will buy you all sorts of items in the shop. Get the nuts if you didn't clear the height check when you downloaded the game. Uh oh, study this anvil before you move on and measure how high it will go. Now, jump onto the next one and determine you measured wrong and take the deck. You should also ask your parents to do the calculations for you from now on. You can also call the Nintendo hotline for assistance. Dial 206-885-7529. Remember though, you want this to be a little secret between you and Nintendo. This yellow camel spider can be quite a feat. Keep jumping and unloading shots into it and it will become eliminated. Keep note of this number below your Pringles can. If it reaches zero, you should let someone else play instead. We should not go up yet as there's a secret on the right. Become dog. Become a Comet, or become Player, and make your way through here. Here is a real player's tip. Take your TV monitor and simply flip it every time the gravity changes. It's best if you have someone there to do it for you, as the gameplay can become quite hectic. These screens are meant to slow the gameplay down in order for the board to feel longer than it actually is. Use Player here. We found the number zero. Only three more numbers to go. Collecting all of the numbers makes the game longer and substantially more difficult, so it is really a good value for finding all of those secrets. Instead of carrying on to the right, go back left and repeat the first section as it is much easier. It is a win-win for us. Looks like the developer didn't think of that. Don't bother hurting this green chap on the stilts, he cannot be killed. As we go through the rest of the board, here is a small snippet of the interview we had the pleasure of doing with Megaphil X. We wanted to stretch the world of Mega Man as far as it would go. I mean really stretch, as long as it could possibly go on, for screens upon screens upon screens, just continuous gameplay. The intent is to provide players with a sense of pride and accomplishment for completing each board. Spikes? We felt there weren't enough spikes in the mainline game, so we added more. 
Then we just kind of looked at it and kept thinking it wasn't enough. Maybe add some on the ceilings, floors, walls, here and there, like the little gifts they are. There's nothing like instantaneously killing yourself on a spike just before the gate. We wanted the game to feel like life itself. It's a hideously ugly place and we all suffer through it. But in the end comes the satisfaction of beating 89 screens with just one checkpoint and posting screenshots of you standing in the boss hallway to Discord servers where nobody gives a toss. It was our goal and I feel like we succeeded. People are already anxiously waiting for the sequel, Mega Man Unlimited 2 for mobile. I mean, do you guys not have phones? <laughs> Now you've reached Nitro Man's board. Congratulations! Nitro Man will fire out these big saw blades, so make sure to stay on higher ground than him to avoid them. Don't just shoot willy-nilly. If you hit the balloon animal on the top of his head three times, you both pass away. Here's a big tip. Hit the balloon animal two times. And when he has ten health capsules left, hit him in the animal for the last time. One out of two times, he will die before you. You now possess the Tri-Nitro Blast. With that done, we can now head to Tack Man's Lair. Hold up! Sometimes these metal daddies will multiply. Keep pressing the inner key to get rid of them all. Become Nitro Man. Most of your foes will now get obliterated. Use the power of Nitro Man to get rid of these Tack people and these Home Depot Nigeria drillers. Beware the oily rags they drop. They go in all kinds of directions. Ouch! Ride the lifts up and watch out for any pencils. Become Dog if you're having trouble. Don't touch these blue nuts, they are too heavy for Mega Man to carry. Time your shots. When the Hitler Frog jumps, fire. It will get them every time. The water hasn't turned them freaking gay yet, which should prevent them from jumping. Cut! The fuck is wrong with you? Listen, I'm, I'm kinda retarded. Behind this shutter is Mallet Chap. He will keep throwing out Japanese torque wrenches, so just inch yourself forwards and keep firing. Good job! If you took a hurt in there, become dog and get this life totem. I said... To kill these eggplant wizards, become eternal and shoot them in the eye. The following 52 screens will have blockbusters. Wait for the first shot and run. This works for all screens. This is a safe spot. Use it to your advantage to get rid of the green chap on stilts. He can't reach you there. Don't get stuck here. Become blast man and shoot the blue speculum. A path will open for you to enter. Inside this path, you will find a tiny E-Pixel. Mayhem! Go back to the safe spot and kill the chap! Go back! Go back to the safe spot and kill the goddamn chap! What is up with- Take the damage here. Don't be underwater for too long. Mega Kid can't breathe here. To claim this wheel tank, blast the Nigerian fellow by becoming player. There is a lot of small life ammo on the right. Use your E-Tanks here to overdrive your Pringles can over the maximum 28 limit. Another chap on stilts. Become blastrous or run through fast. Tack Man is a nuisance. Become Blast Man to kill him fast. Otherwise, the fight can take literally hours. Most of the time, Screwman is shielded inside his letter T's, so you can't shoot him. Wait for the T's to go away, then take your shot. He can also levitate, so become either Gandhi and use nukes, or learn the pattern with the player ability. You know, whoever recorded this accidentally skipped the transition. This is Vomit Woman's board. Looks like they stole the background from Capcom. The gravity is low. This means we can jump really high. Use this to your advantage when shooting these Robocop heads. Watch your footing. The floors are littered with turtles that can hurt our hero. These lines don't hurt you, but the spark shocks do. Avoid them at all costs. These flying fish will sometimes ricochet your shots back to you. Become disabled so they'll leave you alone. These goatsy monsters fire out liquid filth. It will hit the ground and splatter all around. Look out! This last jump is impossible to make. That's why we killed Tac Man first to get the jet missile. Become Dog Missile and fly between the spark shocks. Vomit Woman can be tricky. To dodge the horizontal balls, jump up. To dodge the vertical balls, slide. When Vomit Woman uses her Vomit Dash, small Shoryukens come out. Just slide out of the way. 
Being players should be reasonable enough here. Look closely in the background, that flying meteorite marks a new terrible Mega Man fan game being born each time. Quite neat, huh? Hey Hey Man is a marvelous pick for our next board. Now, you skip the transition again! No worries, we don't need to look at all of them to win the game. Little oopsies are alright, we're here to help. Your first encounter is this trucker hat on a post. He shoots out ping pong balls. They bounce three times after which they explode into snowballs. Go carefully now, the map is littered with these enemies that escaped from Mega Man OP. They throw their awful art at you and then commit suicide. This is normal, just keep the pace up. Yellow Devil will pursue you throughout this board, so either become someone, or use player to kill the pieces. These enemies will not be killed outside the screen estate, so don't just run past them. Become Tack Fellow and kill this trucker. Now, become Blast Man and get rid of the Speculum. Get the nuts, as they are vital for our survival against Gender Man. Always pick up peanuts when you see them, as they can be changed into goods and services. This head unit is guarded by Yellow Devil. It's too dangerous, so leave it there. That was close! Right here, you should practice on this next challenge. The blue zipper goes up and down as you stand on it. To get by this obstacle, follow our movement closely. Good boy! Hey Hey Man is no problem once you've acquired the tack attack. If you run out of weapon syringes, become player and finish him off. Careful! He is swinging about. Just dodge his death spikes as best you can. If you get low on Pringles, use an E-capsule here. I'm getting a raging glue. Time for Glue Man. In this board, the Metars are everywhere. Sometimes there are three of them inside of one, so keep handing out lemons just in case. These Mr. Buckets can be annoying, but shoving balls in their mouth suffocates them. Sometimes the floors are sprayed with horse glue. You can't use the D-Control maneuver here, you can only jump. If you mash the jump really fast, you are able to glide, which makes a lot of sense. Oil Man's head haunts the board. If you shoot it, he flings your shots back. Align your shots carefully as not to get black-faced. Nails kill them easily. This is the only time we should use this weapon as it doesn't actually shield us from anything. This cock blaster can only be dealt with when his head is in the open. Land your shots now. This screen is boring, so just run through. Watch out for the cow being milked in the background. That can hurt our protagonist. Stick your head on this conveyor belt. It will move you to the next part of the board. Use these wisely. Oh no! Enemies can block you! This screen can be tricky, but here is how you do it. Just like that. In order to avoid these enemies, get hit here and land on the flowers. There are three Mecha Donald Ducks here. Shoot him in the eyes to kill him. Watch out for the cream pies. When you come to a fork in the road, go up, as going to the Speculum route is longer and there are not as many spikes there. These flying beavers gun the entire screen estate. Player them before they flash. Head down here for an E-machine and a nut. Jesus H. Christ! Don't be a dog here and try to skip the screen. You will cause damage to your personal computer's turbo chip. For the fight against the mechanical Bart Simpson, just avoid his mood juice. You will get stuck in it. Use the awful metal blades here. Here are a few tips for Tank Man's attack. These giant turtles throw out explosive turtle shells. Shoot the giants in the head. No need to become anyone here. Look for the Chinese landmines. As you might remember, they are to fight off the Mongols and the kids who might try eating Tide Pods in the future. Orange and you skip a leg day. Blue and you lose your head. Become doggy style and fly over if you are not confident. Fill your weapon energies whenever you see these eyeballs. It's best to fill the weapons you use the most. See this crevice on the right? Become Bionic Bitch. Or just use Horse Cum to get in. Jumping up to the lasers makes you fly in that direction. Use caution here as the flying iron maidens are ready to lock you inside them for being a child. Become horse here and get the letter V. Remember, we need this to prolong the game needlessly. This halfway bosslet can be skipped, just watch. After you've destroyed the head of Boba Fett, two raincoat people come out. Just jump to the next screen and you avoid fighting them. Oh, Black Betty, bam ba -lam. Become eternal here. A head unit. 
pick it up for an extra go. Here are our tricks for Tank Man's room. Tank Man has weapons of ass destruction. He will fire out an RC poke, a selfie stick, and the seven knots of love. To stop him from throwing these McFondles, use the nail gun or become player and jump over him every other time he charges at you. This pattern is very easy, so we shouldn't have any problems. On to Jet Chap's board. The Mexicans are going over the wall! When they see you, they'll drop their suitcases and command a bunch of flying fish to attack you! Here's a jumping maneuver to dodge them. Become Vomit Woman here to get endless power-ups. Becoming Dog here will skip most of this board. If you can't beat him, join him. This black fellow operates a motorized vehicle which he has familiarized himself with. He flings out accordions. Let it fall from above you. Then jump out of the way. Become player and shoot the black kid in the face and he will explode. Don't go up just yet. Destroy the speculums for the secret numeral in the stage. Now you've found the number Y. Jazzman is all about the wind current. Position Mega Bloke in the middle and dodge the airstrike. Time your jumps and hit him with a comet strike on each pass. POW! Right in the kisser! Before heading to Gender Man, we should visit the shop and empty all our nuts. Get as many E-projectiles and head units as you can, because the next board wasn't finished by the developer, and is very unfair as a result. With our supreme tips, however, it should be as easy as shooting Harambe in the face with a shotgun. Just as a precaution, of course. Start by going left, drop down, ignore the cheese sticks and the pot drop down, shoot Winnie the Pooh with a goatee in the face twice to change the direction of the cheese stick, kill the Mick, dodge another Winnie and drop down to the side left, drop down again, hit the snowplow twice, drop down right side through this board, drop down, avoid the cheese sticks, drop down, jump over another Mick, avoiding the flowers, unload another two shots on the middle Winnie, slide, jump, jump, drop, get the nuts, become Tac Man and kill the yellow devil's left nut, drop, drop, right, left, left, right, Mick, shoot Winnie, Mick, slide, slide. Become Horseman and- HOLY SHIT! I DIDN'T EVEN KNOW YOU COULD DIE ON THE SCREEN! FUCK ME BLIND! Drop down, charge to the right nut big time, jump, 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 become Pogo Dog, over the flowers, land on the head unit, over, over, under, under, between, get hit, slide, 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 over the Mick, under the snowplow, Mick, watch out for the blowfish, Mick, letter K, become Dog, health capsule, down the gate. If you have further inquiries, reach us at 1-800-AH-THE-FRENCH! Looks like it's- Raining men! Hallelujah! To finish off Gender Man, plaster it with your fun sauce until it becomes quiet. Jump over the bullshit and look out for the beam of ignorance. Congratulations, you've defeated 2018. It's Cartman! We should hurry up and save him from licking the carpet. Let's go! Now, with all the numbers in hand, wait in the character selection screen. When you see the face of Masonry Man, press the joystick quickly. You've found his board. This stage is super difficult, and we only have to play it because we collected the Roman numerals. Here you'll have to master the art of jumping on bricks. Careful, some of them change into flying cheetahs. This Megadon Cheetle tries to grab your weapon energy, so make a run for it when you see him. Become player and shoot these Cosby capsules as they make the room spin. Gosh! They come out of the doors after you've been administered a sleepy dose, so keep your eyes open and your piece loaded. Becoming Dog can help you in this board immensely. It allows you to skip unbuilt masonry sections. That is a huge jump. Holy moly. Mickey Mouse! He tries to create illusions in various screens. Here is the grand tip though. Draw the screen on a piece of paper to know which blocks are fake. You've made it far, but it's not the end just yet. This board goes on for 226 screens, so prepare lunch and call your sick relative that you were unable to go see. There are no brakes on the rape train. How many jokes can you make about this board? It goes on for like 20 fucking minutes, not including deaths. Does it look like I'm fucking laughing? Here is a teaching element. These crossword puzzles drop our hero through. So watch for the pattern. It doesn't matter where you go from here, you'll always end up on the right path. After a few hours, you'll be head to head with Masonry Man. Jump on the bricks he masons. Being Epilepsy Man here is advantageous. Don't be fooled though. When it looks like he has passed away, he most likely hasn't. He comes once, Twice, thrice even. Repeat this process until his Pringles can is empty. And some more, and some more, and well done. You've efficiently wasted your time on getting a weapon you'll use once in the entire fucking game. Don't forget to save your game often. You can use a diskette or a C cassette. With this save file, you'll be able to restore your progress, but keep in mind it doesn't restore the frustration until you've played it a bit longer on the new gaming session. 
Let's head to question mark, ma'am. That's an impressive house, but it's nothing we can't take. The seven knots of love start to connect here. Here is the first string. How exciting! Become Dogbone and skip the entire first road. Become the Hitachi Magic Wand and make steps for yourself. There is no other way to climb up here. There is a Wumpa Fruit on the left that you can acquire with the dog. Don't change back just yet. There is another chap on stilts. Grab your dog by the puss neck and fly across dodging these wands of life that are protruding out of the ground. Become Flappy Bird and go through the entrances. Ouch! Free E-Bank! Become Vomit Woman here. If you can't quite make it, keep trying until you run out of Pringles. Grab the white ladder here. The blue ladder hurts. Become Dog for the rest of the board. As you can see, pretty much the whole board game can be beaten by using Dog. The weapons aren't anything to write home about. Dog is man's best friend, especially when they share peanut butter. Become Jet Chap and fire the vein canes in Mecha Crab's mouth. Makes you wish you could charge the weapon, right? Lucky for us, it's almost impossible to drop down to the pit below because of these lips on these platforms. Such a creative developer. If the bottom of your video game is flashing red, it means your blinker fluid is running out. Better go top it off. Uh-oh, we are going to have to swim through the New York sewage system now. Look, the color of the urine indicates dehydration. It's going to sting a bit more than usual. Don't spend too much time here. Become tank. Aw, oh, shh. Dude, none of this works! It's a good idea to test Judo Man now. It homes on enemies. Neat! Vomit over this gap and drop down safely. More speculums. Use any weapon with explosives. Here is the right order. Remember to keep filling your Pringles energy so that you don't completely rely on your weapons capsules. It's the gate! In here you'll fight the Boston Handshake. Become aroused and finish the deed. Dodge him when he tries to park it in the rear. Timing is everything here. Use e-boxes as necessary. We're almost there. We are now in Cartman's Lair. Vomit on this raincoat fellow. This board will test your dodging skills, so use the dodging skills which you've learned so far to dodge enemies. A lot of the level is upside down, so turn your TV monitor accordingly. No other tips needed. It's Cartman. Use epilepsy attack on him. So close. Now we play mini boards based on the robot killers. Pick one of these salt shakers and you'll get a random board. This is your time to shine. Try to figure out the weaknesses. After all that, we're fighting Fabio. He is weak to vomit. Sweep past him when he flies past you, and he's done in no time. Ye gods! Here comes Doctor not referred to but once before. He has built a machine with random sprite parts attached to it. To dodge these quick beams, look for the gaps. Become Hey Hey Man and fire the awful metal blades at his face. Good! Dr. Warler will now come out and fight you in his Puerto Rican... <laughs> I thought we made peace with the Puerto Ricans. Fire metal blades at his feet. When he charges at you, keep handing out lemons. You're almost there. And he's taking a dirt nap. There is still one more thing to do. We need to dispose of the kidnapper. But who is it? Look! It's zero OP! Shoot him 3,529 times, and he explodes. But uh-oh, our hand came off for using it too much. Quick, run to the exit to save the rest of your body from robot leprosy. Dr. Light can play chess at peace once again. You victorious. Mega Man 10 Limited was produced by Megaphil X for the Home Computer Systems. Home... <laughs> Already started. Do note that this board game comes with an additional game... Needs more coffee. I'm not getting paid enough for this. Do note that this game comes with additional... God bless America. Do note that this board game... Fuck. <laughs> I can't say it. Go up the twigs carefully as a pippy with a huge rack comes flying in course. Fucking fuck, fuck, fuck. Get the nuts if you didn't clear the height check when you downloaded the game. Use the power of Nitro Man to get rid of these tack people and these Home Depot Nigeria drillers. <laughs> Let me do that one again. 
Use the power of Nitro Man to get rid of these tack people and these home deep. <laughs> Use the power of Nitro Man to get... God. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. I got it. The water hasn't turned them free. <laughs> oh no, here we go. Become disabled... <laughs> Become disabled so they'll leave you alone. <laughs> if you look closely in the background, that flying meteorite marks the new terrible fuck gun. Fuck a duck. Coffee. You finish, fuck. <clears throat> These Mr. Buckets can be annoying, but shoveling balls in their mouth suffocates. <laughs> this cock blaster can only be. <laughs> that can hurt our protagonist. <laughs> for the fight against the mechanical Bart Simpson. Shimshin? Shimshin? For the fight against the Bart Shimshin? Become dog here, we'll skip most of this. <laughs> <laughs> Become player and shoot the black kid in the face and he will explode. <laughs> shoot the black kid in the face. We're gonna get banned. <laughs> Dog is man's best friend, especially when you share the <laughs> Dog is man <laughs> still sucking a dog stick. <laughs> But uh-oh, our hand came off for using it too much. <laughs> My hands never come off for using it too much. 